Hello everyone, let's go to Proverbs chapter 26, I think verse 27. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will repine, it will return upon him. So what do you think this is saying? So whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein. What I imagine, and I may be wrong about this, if you are digging a pit, I am thinking about like a trap. I believe some people may dig maybe a somewhat deep hole. I guess depending on how large the animal is, you may have to make it deeper, but some people may dig a hole as a trap for an enemy to fall an animal to fall into it. Um, I believe this can be used for humans as well, for a trap. So for this part, I believe it is saying, if you want to be evil and want to ensnare a person, you want to trap a person, the same trap that you are trying to trap a person, you will fall victim to. You will be hurt by it in so many words. Okay, let's go to the next part. And he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. So I believe this part is pretty much saying the same thing as the first. If you want to be evil and try to do harm to a person, try to trap a person, it is going to come back upon you. And this really does follow you reap what you sow. If you choose to do evil, <clears throat> Evil is going to come back on you. If you choose to do what is right, good things will come to you. Yes, bad things too, but good things as well. I told a person, actually what I tell some people, if you feel like too many bad things are coming your way, I believe it is in your interest to do what is right. Do good things for people. Why? Because what you do, in a sense, it is going to come back to you. So for Proverbs 26 and 27, it doesn't really pay to do what is wrong. It doesn't really pay to want to, you know, hurt people and trap them and stuff like that. Stay away from that. Forgive people. Choose to move on. If you want to do anything for that enemy, uh, do good for that person. Or at the least, pray for that person. Or something like that. Let me stop here though. May God bless us.